are doing or are deserving. And in the sacrament of baptism, the church recognizes God's covenant of grace. We receive God's gift with reverent joy and respond in faith and obedience. And God's acting for us in baptism as he's acted for our salvation from the beginning of time. By the waters of baptism and through the power of the Holy Spirit, God claims us and calls each one by name. He unites us to Christ in his death and resurrection and grafts us into the body of Christ. God washes us clean by forgiving our sin, commissions us to be a royal priesthood with Christ in his ministry to the world, empowers us to live in newness of life as people of the word, and invites us to be renewed at the Lord's table until we feast with him in glory. The Apostle Paul told the church in Ephesus that it's by grace that you're saved through faith. It's not of your own doing. It's the gift of God not the result of works so that no one may boast. Baptism doesn't save us from anything. For a believer, it's a sign of an inward grace that has already taken place where a person has chosen to reorient his life in Jesus Christ by grace. For a child, of course, it's a sign of a covenant of grace wherein a child is placed on the path toward faith in Christ. But this is not the end of a journey for Doug or for any of us. It's just the beginning of the journey. So, John, who comes to receive the gift of baptism? On behalf of this session, I present Doug Christie, who seeks baptism on his profession of faith. Doug, is it your desire to be baptized? Yes, it is. Do you believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? I do. Do you trust in God's grace and mercy, which none of us can earn or deserve? Yes. Do you renounce sin and the power of evil in your life and in the world? Do you renounce any thought or behavior that separates you from God? Yes. Who is your Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. Say that nice and loud for these folks. Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Most important words we'll ever hear. Do you promise in dependence on the Holy Spirit to grow in your Christian faith by regularly attending worship, growing in community with God's people, and sharing your faith with others? I do. That's awesome. Let's pray. Lord, it's good to gather together as your family to celebrate the faith of one who has come to know you. And so we thank you for Doug and for his love for you. And we ask, Lord, that you will uh, bless us as we celebrate with Doug and especially bless Doug as he uh, makes this public profession of faith and dies and rises with Christ in the waters of baptism. So grant that his faith will be strengthened through this time and that all of our faiths will be strengthened as we are encouraged by this uh, act of obedience to Jesus Christ that we see here today. Pour down your Holy Spirit upon Doug that he will know all the gifts that he needs to be able to serve and follow you for the glory of Jesus. Amen. Okay, Doug, on your profession of faith and at your request, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.